Researchers taught chimpanzees to play rock, paper, scissors. And although they weren't that great at it, chimps might be better than humans at certain other strategy games. I have a great anecdote about rock, paper, scissors at the end of this story, by the way. But here's how this went down with the chimps. In 2017, researchers at the Japan Monkey Center showed the chimps a monitor with a chimp hand in the paper position and a chimp hand in the rock position. So to teach them the game, the researchers would reward the chimps with an apple slice when they pointed at the right winner. Then the apes learned what happened with rock versus scissors and finally scissors versus paper. Completing the whole circle of rock beats scissors beats paper beats rock gave the chimps the most trouble. But after about 300 sessions, most of the chimps had gotten it down pat. Once they had learned the game, the chimps turned out to be pretty good at it. Well, about as good as a four-year-old child anyway. But the big difference between human toddlers learning the game and adult chimpanzees was speed. When a group of kids aged three to six were taught the same game, it only took them about five sessions to put it all together. And while the chimps were about on par with preschoolers, even slightly older children were able to play the game with a degree of strategy instead of blind luck. So if you ever find yourself on a planet of the apes, you might try challenging them to a game of rock, paper, scissors instead of, say, a fist fight. But there's one game that chimps actually do beat us at. There's a simple strategy game where players choose either a square on the right or a square on the left. If they both choose the same square, the first player wins. And if they choose different squares, the second player does. Shockingly, researchers found that chimpanzees were much better at recognizing their human opponent's patterns. Even more incredible is the ape's ability to immediately memorize visual patterns. You know, Ashley, if we could just train them to recognize patterns in the stock market so we could make millions of dollars investing, we could start a thriving monkey business. Oh, good one. (laughs) So my anecdote is when I applied to work at curiosity.com, I had to write a sample article and I wrote it about the World Rock, Paper, Scissors Society. I know. I read it. (laughs) (laughs) It never got published. Because apparently there was no point. But there's a World Rock, Paper, Scissors Society in England. No, that's amazing. That's it's a like really cool fact. It's hundreds of years old. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll do a story on that soon. Sure. Or never. <laughs>